What's going on guys? It's Ben Wilson from Forged Gent. Today's video, I'm gonna show you how to elevate your coffee making by adding a French press into the mix. I've been a coffee drinker for 25 years. Started drinking coffee when I joined the Marine Corps. Uh, just as a way to endure some of those long days to wake myself up um, and it really was only just brewed coffee occasionally you know go to Starbucks have have some coffee from Starbucks but I mean that was basically the extent to it um, I wanted something with a punch something that was gonna wake me up I was into into the uh, fufu coffees like the triple macchiato lattes with, with all the extra sugar it's like no just give me the straight uh, black coffee it's going to punch me in the face when I drink it. That's how I enjoyed my coffee. That to me was a good cup of coffee. Um, over the years, I'd probably say uh, maybe 10 years ago, I had coffee out of a French press and I was like, wow, this is amazing. Um, it definitely changed the way that I drank coffee and it's my go-to method for drinking coffee throughout the week. It's quick, it's easy. Um, the comparison between drip coffee and French press is just night and day. Um, now when I drink uh, drip coffee, it just kind of tastes watery. There's not really too much flavor to it. Uh, with the French press, it's just rich, it's robust, it's bold. Um, it's just a better way to me personally for drinking coffee. So today I'm going to share with you my method that I use to make coffee in the French press. Caffeine content. It's really not that much of a difference. Uh, internet says that one's higher than the other and then vice versa. Um, I, personally, I haven't noticed too much of a difference. If I need more caffeine, I'll drink an espresso or I'll have another cup of coffee from the French press. So now, I'm gonna go through the process of making coffee in a French press. It's super easy, something you guys can totally do. And uh, let's get down to it. Okay guys, ready to get started. I have my coffee grinder, I have my French press, spoon to mix the coffee beans with, and I also have some coffee here in a vacuum sealed container. Uh, for storage, I have put my coffee in a vacuum sealed container after I opened it, and I also store it in the freezer, the rest of the beans in the freezer, and then I add them to here when it's, when it's time, just to help keep them a little bit more fresh. I go with whole beans, and I prefer to grind them myself rather than get them pre-ground in the store. Uh, there's a difference in taste. I would suggest you try it yourself and so you can actually see what the difference is. But to me, it tastes better when you grind it right before you make the coffee. So this grinder I have here is a hand grinder. I like it because it's, it's old school uh, grinding the coffee yourself. Um, they have electric grinders you can use, but this one gives you a little bit more control over uh, the grounds. So they do have electric grinders that do the same, but um, those, might, those might be a little bit more pricey. So what you wanna go for is more of a coarse grind. So the settings on this coffee grinder here, four is super coarse and then on down. So you wanna go for medium coarse for this. So probably right around there. I can add my coffee beans. I can't tell you offhand the amount, so I'm going to use a, a little teaspoon here and uh, give you a picture of how much you need to add when you're making coffee. I'm making it in this French press. I'm not sure the size. It's uh, the medium size. I know that's a terrible answer. But uh, this is what I use. It probably makes about three to four cups of coffee. All right, so let's get started. You grind the coffee, set it the correct setting. You 
can see the grinds here a medium coarse. While I'm doing this, I'm also boiling water. I have electronic tea kettle that I use, so it boils the water fairly quickly. So I'm gonna get that going as well while I do this. The whole process from start to finish takes about 10 minutes. Okay, let's take this off. Full. You can see the grounds there. Um, like I said, medium coarse. I'm gonna add them to the French press now. So let's count it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's about what I use. I use about eight heaping teaspoons. Next, I'm gonna add the water. I'm gonna fill it up to this metal line here. Give it a quick stir. So I'm gonna let it sit for about seven minutes. You have to gauge it, that's that's my personal taste. You'll have to gauge it for yourself. Um, I've seen any, everywhere from four minutes to five minutes. So for me, I like a, a stronger cup, so seven minutes works perfectly for me. So I put the plunger on top, then I close it and I let it sit. As far as temperature goes, uh, you want the water to be not boiling, but um, just, just below boiling. Uh, I think the temperature would be about 195 degrees Fahrenheit. You don't have to measure it out, you, have to, you don't have to get a thermometer, but um, just right before the water is going to boil, take it off and then and you can add it to your French press. That's so the you don't burn the coffee beans. So I'll see you again in seven minutes. Next step is you want to use the plunger and push the grounds down to the bottom. We're going to do this slowly. And then let it sit for a little bit. Um, before you pour. You want to do this because there's still going to be some fine sediment that the filter didn't catch and if you were to pour it in your cup right now you get a little bit of that. I'll let it rest for about a minute or so. Okay let's pour it out. Good. So I want to go over a couple more things that I forgot to mention earlier. Uh, after you stir the beans and you put the, the cap on um, and you wait, you know, five, seven, whatever, whatever amount of time that you're going to wait for your, your beans, um, I would strongly suggest getting a spoon and removing as many of those grounds from the top as you can. And what that's going to do is... The longer the coffee sits in the French press, the stronger and stronger it gets, so the taste is going to change. So if you're not drinking all of it right away, when you come back to it, uh, your cup of coffee is going to be 
a lot stronger, maybe more strong than you would like. So what I suggest is removing those beans, uh, doing the plunger method, and then once you're ready to drink the coffee, grab another container and pour the coffee into that. Something like a, like a regular coffee pot. Or a pot like this. This is a pour over uh, carafe. Uh, the next video I'll show you how to make pour over coffee. Depending on the type of coffee that you buy, you might want to adjust those uh, brew times. Um, might be a little bit less, might be a little bit more. But for the coffee I have, uh, seven minutes is, is right where it needs to be. That's all I got guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm just a normal guy. <laughs> making coffee i enjoy making it this way i'm not a professional by any means um if you have any tips for me on how i can make a better cup uh please let me know down below um as i mentioned before in the next video that i do i'm going to show you how to make pour over coffee um and talk about some of the differences there so hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you next time